Hello everyone, we finally managed to get to the last video for the first gym. If you haven't watched my info video about the gyms in the region, I recommend you doing so, because otherwise you might be confused about the story I'll tell you. And please watch the two videos about this trainer's fake one, because they are also part of this gym. Anyways, if you watched the videos, you already know which fake one you might have to fight in this gym. But that's it, you still have to meet the first gym leader. So the first gym leader is 16 year old Wolfgang, but he prefers being called Wolf. His family managed the gym from the beginning, and they are one of the families that want to bring them back and get rid of the emblem tournament. However, Wolf is not too enthusiastic about his family's plan. He actually enjoys the emblem tournament and would like to participate, but his parents won't allow it. In fact, they make sure he has no contact with anyone involved in the emblem tournament. As you can imagine, Wolf highly dislikes his treatment, which led to some ongoing stress between him and his family. When the gyms got closed, they started a family business called called Wolfpack Delivery. It's a food delivery service and Wolf works for them as a delivery boy. I thought it would be cool if all the gyms now got businesses that resemble a certain aspect of their fairy tale they are based on. In this case the fact that Red Riding Hood brings food to her grandma and one of the three dogs also brought food to his owner. So a delivery service was perfectly fitting in my opinion. If this was a game you would meet him even before you enter the city with the first gym while he is doing some delivery work. I just like it when characters get introduced before, but you don't think much of it. You will also encounter him on your journey a couple of times and learn more about him and his relationships with other characters. I don't want NPCs to just exist, I want them to have a reason in the overall story and a purpose on their own. Own stories, own adventures, own relationships and own struggles. Now I'll tell you a bit more about him as a person. He's very enthusiastic when it comes to competitive Pokemon battles, and he likes to secretly watch the Emblem tournament. Since his family is too busy managing the delivery service and plotting about bringing the gyms back, they don't have very much time for him or for people seeking the gym challenge, which only happens like 5 times a year. Wolf will jump in and play the role of the gym leader. He is torn between his own interests and his family ones, so he is always struggling to find a middle way, which is very stressful for him. He enjoys his job as a delivery boy because there is no one checking up on him, where he goes or whom he meets, as long as there are no complaints by customers. The first time you fight him, his team consists of a Paradox and a Noppy. His Noppy will evolve into a Goblin and a Fiery Mat. Wolf hopes his Paradox will evolve into a Spiking because it's definitely the coolest looking one, but that's not how it works and he will get a Splendor because it is the one he needs the most. He always has his fake man with him when doing deliveries, Noppy in his hood and Paradox running beside him. His team will grow through the game, but I don't know which fake man will end up in it. As you can see, I gave him a red beanie. Later I decided to add the logo of the emblem tournament on it. I'm always doing character concept and drawing parallel, so if I have an idea while drawing, I will change parts of the design of the story. I made it easy for myself and covered his hands. Also, besides the reference pics from Elite 4 from Instagram, I made my own reference pics and it worked wonders. This is my best drawing of a human so far. He's wearing a gold necklace, which was a gift from another character. You will hopefully meet the character in the future. I haven't drawn him yet, but I will get to that eventually. Also, I know it is hard to see, but his hoodie actually has a hood with wolf ears. I just thought that's a funny detail to add. That's all I have to say about him right now. I hope you got a good idea what this character will be like. Now to the first badge. I was super excited to design one, cause I love collecting shiny metal stuff and badges are my favorite things to collect in Pokemon games. Try to make the size similar to the Gen 4 badges, cause in my opinion the rendering is on another level. All badges will have a circular base and elements added to it resembling the gym. So for Gym 1 I tried to incorporate a dog or wolf and the red cap of Red Riding Hood. Yes, it is basically a dog wearing a Santa hat, I am aware of that. And the first badge is done. May I present to you the service badge. You will obtain it after defeating Wolf and his team. And with that, the first gym is done. We got to know the first gym leader, a bit of his background and personality, his team and the badge. I already hinted at another character that is connected to him, but that would be spoilers for another video. Please let me know what you think of this gym, the idea and execution. Constructive criticism is always appreciated. 
One day I want to make a video about the gym leaders of my region like Drupal 7 recently did. I think it's one of my favorite videos by him actually and it was so inspiring. But that won't happen anytime soon. Please subscribe to the channel, I'm thankful for every single one of you. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and please look forward to the next one. See you in the comments!